But but for two people, my wife Linda and uh, our football club chaplain Dean Davis at the Lions at the time, uh, I would not uh, be standing here tonight probably talking to you. I would not uh, understand the things that have gone on in my life since that day, particularly in the football sense, in family sense, uh, in, in every part of my life. I would not be the person around but for people and but for a chaplain, particularly in a moment that understood that, that someone just needs a word to continue to go towards the potential that God's put in them, to continue to go towards the dream that's in someone's heart. Because I think, from my experience, that it would be really easy if that advice wasn't given to someone, that they could drop that dream and never return to chase that dream again. That, that would have been my experience. That the lesson it taught me from that, that time of finally coming through that uh, would reap enormous rewards, but the rewards weren't just something I was happy to get, but something I looked back and thanked my wife and thanked Dean for the incredible investment at a time. Because seven years later, as you were talking about, in, in 2001, I faced again one of the greatest uh, fears that I've ever faced. And that is actually winning a preliminary final and qualifying for a grand final where everything went on the line for the first time in my career. After 12 years of football, the first time the enormous fear of failure hit me on the way home, I kid you not, from the preliminary final up at the Gabba. It hit me like the proverbial ton of bricks. Well, a ton of bricks feels like I don't know, but you know what I'm talking about. It hit me. And I had an enormous fear of what I may not be able to do the week after. But you know what? The lesson that I learned so much from 994 was that faith is that has the power. Faith in my life has the power to overcome any fear that I might face. And you know what? It came because of my wife Linda, who's with me tonight. It came because of a chaplain by the name of Dean Davis, who some of you will know because he's a, an Adelaide uh, a man from Adelaide, obviously now lives in Queensland, but a terrific man. A terrific man who was alongside me in my one of my darkest hours uh, and helped me 